Hi, and welcome to the 10 forumscom In the previous Hyper-V video, part 1 setup, we added the Hyper-V feature and created the virtual network switches. In the second video, we create a new Hyper-V virtual machine and install Windows 10 on it. To start, launch the Hyper-V Manager. On the right pane, select New Virtual Machine. Click Next. Name your virtual machine as you wish. Select the location where to store the virtual machine or accept the default location. Click Next. Select Generation 1 for standard BIOS-based virtual machines or Generation 2 if you want to create a UEFI-based virtual machine. Click Next. Assign memory to the VM. Note that as this will be taken from your host memory when the VM is run, the maximum recommended is the amount of RAM on host minus 2 GB. Unselect the dynamic memory for now. The use of it will be explained in the next part of this series of Hyper-V videos. Click Next. To allow your VM to connect to the Internet, select an external virtual switch. Click Next. Accept the default name, size and storage location for the virtual hard disk or change them as you wish. Click Next. Select Install an operating system and then select either a physical DVD drive on your host or an ISO image file. If using an ISO image, browse to it and select it. Click Next. Review your setup. Click Finish when ready to create the virtual machine. The virtual machine has now been created. Right click the VM and select settings or select the VM and click settings on bottom right pane. Two things to edit before we can run the VM. First, give the VM more virtual processors. On this laptop I use, I always give the maximum amount I can for processors. This really speeds up the VM. I also changed the default production checkpoint to standard checkpoint. More about checkpoints in future videos. Click OK to save settings. Connecting to a VM means that you open the VM process window. In order to boot the VM, we will connect to it, then start it. You can connect and start the VM from its context menu, from bottom right pane or from action menu in Hyper-V Manager. You can also start the VM from the start button when first connected to it. Now, let's boot the VM and switch to full screen mode. To install an operating system to a Hyper-V virtual machine, is done exactly the same way than when installing to physical hardware. 
boot the VM with installation media and do as you have always done. That's it for now. Check the video thread on 10forums.com for more Hyper-V and other Windows 10 videos. In the next few parts we will look into dynamic memory, checkpoints, enhanced mode and much more. See you!